Stampers, it's Kim Vogel with the Basement Bunch Stampers here for another Terrific Tuesday video. Today I'm going to share with you a really cute and simple project um, that I created using the Apron of Love bundle. Look how cute that is. If you do not have this bundle yet, you're going to want to add it to your collection after you see my video today and my Facebook Live projects that I'm going to be doing this Thursday. So if you haven't joined my Facebook group, search for Kim Vogel's Basement Bunch Stampers and make sure you join my group. I will be doing a live video Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we'll be making three additional projects using this bundle. Um, this bundle is in our occasions catalog and one that did not catch my eye at first until I started playing with it and I spent the entire day Saturday doing just that and I absolutely fell in love with it. So the bundle um, sells for $45. It includes the photopolymer stamp set and the coordinating framelits and these are what I think has really sold me on this bundle. These little framelits um, come in, um, I don't know if you can see the detail on these, to cut out all of those little um, kitchen utensils that can fit into this apron. And um, you can see that here on my project, that's kind of what I've done. And all these little pieces that coordinate, and it's absolutely, I just love it. So anyway, if you haven't ordered that yet, make sure you get that before the end of May, because that bundle will be going away in our occasions catalog. So the project that I'm sharing with you today is this cute little box that is designed to have this little belly band just slide right off. And inside of this box, it is designed to have a couple pieces of candy, and I would suggest a cookie here because my little front of the box says baked with love. Um, now you could also change the design of this and put a gift card in here. These are just those little chocolate nuggets that I wrapped with some paper, of the Color Theory paper from our annual catalog. And I'm gonna share with you today the dimensions and how I made this cute little box and how I made this cute little divider tray perfect for all of your gift giving needs. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. We are gonna start with a piece of crumb cake cardstock that is cut six and seven eighths by seven and three eighths. And from there, we're gonna be doing some scoring. We're gonna be scoring at five eighths. Actually, let me make sure I tell you on which side first. So we're gonna be scoring on the the long side, make sure I get this right here. We're gonna be scoring on the long side. Let me bring my trimmer in here and show you the scoring. So on the long side, seven and three eighths side, we are gonna be scoring at five eighths. Now keep in mind that the five eighths, every little two lines is an eighth, okay? So that's kind of a good way um, to remember this. So you're gonna be scoring at five eighths, and then again, at three and three eighths. And I'm not gonna actually be scoring this one because I have one done, I'm just kind of showing you. Again, at four, and then again at six and three quarters. So for that one, I'd need to pull this out. But I have one done in advance that I've already scored. Um, and it looks like this. Now, what you're gonna do, um, before we do anything additional, is you're gonna score at the 5 8 mark on all four, of, or all the other three sides, I should say, because you need to have that um, little um, lip area to be able to make your box, okay? So um, that's what you're gonna need to do with your piece, is you're gonna need to then um, turn it at a 90 degree angle and score it at the 5 8 mark as well on every single one of these little um, areas, okay? You're just gonna be scoring it. So again, I did one in advance to save a little bit of time. Then what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be cutting out those center notches and all you're gonna do is take your scissors and you're going to cut up on these little notches and cut those out. And then you've all seen me do this before where I do miter cutting. So I cut up on the opposite side and I just cut into those a little bit to get a little piece of that out. Um, whenever I'm doing boxes, by doing that, it helps them kind of fold together a lot nicer. Um, from there, I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna add a little bit of fast fuse to two of these ends to um, glue those in place. And I'm simply gonna be folding this up like that. And I will have all of these measurements on my website at kimsbasementbunch.com, so make sure you check that out for all of the details. Now before you glue down the opposite two sides, the opposite side, you wanna make sure that you fold this over first because you wanna make sure that this is gonna fit because this has to fold over top of the box, okay? And then you're gonna be able to glue that down. So let me um, get this folded here and get some adhesive and put onto these as well. Now if you don't like to use our Fast Fuse, you can also use our tear and tape. Um, I prefer the Fast Fuse um, just because it's a better adhesive and I like it for um, 
the fact that it just it just holds everything down a lot better. And I may have put the adhesive on the wrong side of this, so bear with me. I made mine over the weekend, so um, <laughs> when you make it in advance, you sometimes make mistakes when you're making it um, on, on your video. I think you get the gist of it though. So this is gonna fold down, and then that's gonna fold on there like so, okay? Because you want this to be able to open. So that is kind of how you're gonna do the box, okay? And then from there, what you're gonna be doing is you need to make a divider sheet for it. So let me bring my box back in, my sample one, and show you the divider. Um, and that divider is a piece of cardstock that is cut to two and five eighths by seven. And you're gonna be scoring this on both sides at three quarters of an inch, one and a quarter, and one and three fourths. And I'm doing that on both sides. You can see that I've got score marks there on both sides of that. And from there, I'm just gonna fold this every other way, because what I wanna do is make a divider, and I wanna make that peak, so it's gonna go like this when I put that inside of my box, okay? So you're gonna fold the first one in towards you, the next one out, just kinda like a weave, and the next one in again, again, to make that cute little divider tray, okay? So from there, that would then fit into my box, like so let me grab my box here bear with me because my adhesive decided to not stick again don't know why this box is challenging me a little bit but it is okay so from there this is just going to fit right inside of here like so and you're going to go ahead and you can glue this down if you want you can also glue these peaks if you want and that's actually what i did i did take the time to glue this in here and i glued these peaks together i didn't want to have to have it fall you know apart as people were opening it up now to keep this box secure what i did is i created a belly band and that's where I, the bundle comes into play that i used in today's project let me find my um belly band here to show you real quick again so what I did is I lost my belly band there it is so this is the belly band sorry about that it fell on the floor so what I did to, to make the belly band work around the box is I simply um, again, I do not take the time to do a lot of the scoring that maybe I should because I want this to be simple and easy and duplicatable. So I simply went around the box, had about the same amount on both the bottom and the top, and all I'm going to do is carefully fold this up and over the box. And I know that it's not going to fit, and that's the cool thing that I want to show you that I did. Um, so again, you could take the time and figure this out and score it perfect, but I'm not going to be doing that. What I did then is I went ahead and I added dimensionals. Let me make sure this is nice and closed so that I, there we go. So what I did is I added dimensionals to the two ends of the belly band, just like so. And you kind of want to have that straight. And then what I did is I took off the top part of these dimensionals and I simply added my um, added my little um, two ovals from the layering ovals like that. And then that will allow you to slide that on and off without having to rip it or without having to really um, do anything to, to get that off too hard. And that kind of holds it together really nice. And what I want to show you then is how cute this little... Um, this little apron went together. So I've cut out in advance the actual apron itself. These are some of the pieces that come with it. And that's what I wanted to show you how cute it is. So this, the stamp set actually has some little stamps that you can use to stamp. Um, you can stamp best ever and put dad in the middle, mom in the middle, friend in the middle. And some of the projects that I've created for you on my Facebook Live on Thursday include some stamping. This one I didn't do much stamping on the little apron itself. But I want to show you how I adhered some of these awesome little um, utensils and things that I've cut out here. And so what I did is when I glued this little, um, oh, 
not too much of a pocket to the apron down. I did not put adhesive along the top. And I went ahead and put this down here on the bottom like that. And the reason why I didn't do that is because I want to be able to adhere some of these little things in there. And I want to be able to slide them down inside of that. So what I did is I brought in some of our mini dimensionals. And mini dimensionals are perfect for this. So I put a mini dimensional on the top of this little rolling pin. And my nails are getting in my way here. And I simply slid that down and then I glued it in like so. And then you can kind of pick whatever ones you want. I happen to also want a, oh, let's do one of these little whisks. And again, I kind of found that cutting them down just a little bit provided me with a little bit less that I had to worry about sticking down inside of that apron. But I like the idea of them being inside the apron because they're not going to be getting in the way or getting hooked on stuff or anything like that. Oops, this one I didn't put in the quite in the right place. but you'll get the gist of it. I should have had that moved over a little bit more or the dimensional moved over. And then the final one I'm gonna add is, oh, let's say if we wanted a white spoon. And I just cut a bunch of these out of scraps in advance. So again, nothing too, too fancy. And they, these framelits come out of the um, Big Shot really, really good. I know sometimes our detailed framelits can be a little bit of a nuisance to get out of them, but this one was amazing. It came out really, really good. And then what I did is I also put a little hanger on. You can see that right here. I used glue dots to put that onto my apron. And then in advance, I stamped the Baked with Love and cut that out with the Big Shot. Look how cute that is. And that is how I made my little belly band today. Let me bring my completed project back in so that you can see it. So this is the cute little box and that is the little band for it. How cute is that? Again, when it opens up, you have room in here. Now you could not, you could skip the divider part if you wanted to, and then you'd have room for more baked goods. But this would also be a cute box, like I said, for a gift card, for jewelry, for just a little bit of everything really that you might want to include in, um, in a gift. So cute. So anyway, thanks for stopping today. I hope you enjoyed this cute project that I created using the Apron of Love bundle. Um, make sure you add it to your collection today. It's only available through the end of May. If you have any questions, you may email me at kim at kimsbasementbunch.com. And I look forward to seeing you all on Thursday during my Facebook Live or right back here on YouTube next Tuesday. Have a great day. Bye.